Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about topology and what is the best way for a person to learn topology. So I'm going to show you some books. I have them here. And then I'm going to show you a book that is 100% free. In my opinion, this is the easiest book you can use to learn topology and it is completely free. It's available in English, Spanish, Turkish, Persian, Russian, um, Greek. I mean, it's been translated to multiple languages. It's totally free and it's available online. And again, in my opinion, it is the best book for beginners. I'm going to start with showing you other good books because I don't believe that a single book is enough when you're trying to learn topology. I think it helps to have more than one book. Some people believe that one book is all you need. Obviously, I don't believe that. So let me show you some books. So this one here is the one that I used when I was a student. It's called Elements of Point Set Topology by John D. Baum. It's a Dover book. It's really well made. The big con of this book is the price. I'm pretty sure it's kind of expensive now, even though it's a reprint. I think there's just not that many available, but I will leave links to everything I'm talking about in this video in the description, including the book for free, which I'll show you a little bit later, which is easier than this one. This book is good. But the big con of this book is that it starts by introducing a topology via neighborhood systems. So if you're looking at other books and you're looking for a way to better understand that definition, you're probably not going to find it because most books don't introduce topologies in terms of neighborhood systems. I remember spending quite a bit of time struggling with that when I was learning topology. This book is good though because it's good for beginners because it has everything you need in order to progress through the subject. For example, in order to be successful in topology, you have to be very good at doing basic proofs with sets. In particular, you're going to need knowledge of some of those set theoretic theorems. This book refreshes all that knowledge, so it kind of has everything you need. So when you're looking at a proof and there's some like inclusion that's being used surrounding like the inverse image of a, of a set. Um, you know, you can find it in the book and so you can follow the proof because everything you need is kind of in this book. A better book than this than that one is this one here. It's called Introduction to Topology by Gamelin and Green. Way more advanced. This book has full solutions to all of the exercises. So you're going to get full proofs uh, to all of the proof based exercises. Incredible book. But just because it has full solutions doesn't mean it's an easy book. It's much harder than the one I just showed you. And they're all pretty tough, right? Topology is a hard subject. Most people take topology their senior year of college. I took it my last year. For me, it was pretty, I don't want to say easy, but I, I did really well. And that was because I had a lot of mathematics. I took it so late in my degree. I had advanced calculus one, advanced calculus two, complex analysis, PDEs. You know, I had a lot of math before I took topology, and so it made it much easier for me. Now, I'm going to show you the easiest book out there for learning topology. So I'm just going to fix the screen here. All right. I usually don't make videos like this. A little bit different, but this is a video that I've been wanting to make for a really long time. Um, I always thought, oh, I should make a video on this book because I've read decent portions of this book, and I used it when I was learning topology. So the book is called Topology Without Tears. I'll leave a link in the description to the book. It's written by Sidney Morris, and you can see it's been translated to several languages, which is really, really cool. Let's go ahead and open the English one. Some of the translations aren't as good in the sense that they're not fully translated. So for example, the Spanish translation is great. It's a great translation. It's amazing that someone did it, but it doesn't have the appendices translated. Okay, so stuff like that. Topology without tears. Very nice. Sidney A. Morris. There is a legend who wrote this incredible book. This, this book is amazing. I'm surprised it's, it's not more popular. You can see it's been translated to Arabic, Chinese, Greek, Korean, Persian, Russian, Spanish, and Turkish. Let's go ahead and go through the contents, and then I'll show you what a topology actually is. We'll look at the definition in the book. So it starts with an introduction, then it goes into topological spaces, the Euclidean topology, limit points, homeomorphisms. That's what, this is when it starts to get really cool. Like the proofs start to get like, it's a little more fun here. Continuous mappings, this is pretty fun too. Metric spaces. So, you know, metric spaces are one of those things that 
you do in multiple courses. So, you know, you'll do metric spaces in a class like this. If you take functional analysis, you might review them again, you know, so they, they just come up again and again, they might come up in an advanced calculus class. So it's refreshing to find this topic in this book and in most apology books, because it makes you feel good. Cause if you've seen it before, it's like, yeah, or, or, or maybe you've seen it before and you didn't understand it. This gives you another explanation, which I think is good. Compactness, finite products, countable products, Tikhonov's theorem, quotient spaces, the stone weistrass theorem. And then you have these appendices, which again, at least in the Spanish version, you don't have. And some of these are really cool. For example, Hostdorf dimension. I don't remember why I was reading this, but I, I, I've read this, this appendix. <laughs> it's, it's a very specific thing. Oh, look at this warning. There's a warning here on, on the Hostdorf dimension. This is kind of exciting. We begin by warning the reader that this section is significantly more complicated than much of the material in the early chapters of this book. Maybe it was the warning that drew me to it. I don't remember. There was a reason I had to do it. <laughs> Further, an understanding of this section is not essential to the understanding of the rest of the book. So yeah, I'm pretty sure something brought me here to this section and uh, I read it and worked through it many, many years ago. Let's go back to the very, very first chapter and just show you so I can show you what a topology is and you might be able to understand it even if you have just basic math so topology definitions let x be a non-empty set a set tau of subsets of x is said to be a topology on x if so let me pause here and just explain that so tau itself is a set and its elements or its members are also sets so tau is a set of sets okay and we're saying that tau, which is a collection of subsets of X, is a topology on X, okay, if, and we have three conditions. The first one is that X and the empty set belong to tau. The second one is that the union of any finite or infinite number of sets in tau belongs to tau. And the third is the intersection of any two sets in tau belongs to tau. Then it says the pair X comma tau is a topological space. So if you have these three conditions satisfied, then you have a topological space. Worth mentioning that most books, I'm pretty sure, including these, um, here it says intersection of any two sets. So most books will say the intersection of any finite number of sets. You can prove with induction, if it's true for two, it's true for any uh, finite number. You can, you can adjust this definition to any finite number and all is good. Here's an example of uh, a topological space. So we have X equals A, B, C, D, E, F. Those are the elements of X. And this is a nice example because it's so simple. You're probably not going to find examples like, like this one in these books here. Okay. It's probably not going to happen. I don't recall these books, uh, having examples that were, you know, this basic and yeah, this simple. Usually it's a little bit different. So this book is special even just for these examples. And then they give you tau sub one here and it says it's a topology on X as it satisfies the three conditions. So you're supposed to go back with your, your pencil and your paper and verify. For example, the first condition is that X and the empty set belong to tau. So if you look here, there's certainly elements of tau. So the first condition is satisfied. The next condition is that the union of any finite number of sets in tau belongs to tau. So if you look at tau and you take the union of any number, any of these sets, it's going to be in tau one. So if I take, for example, A and the set containing CD, I take the union, ACD should be here. Oh, look at that, it is. If I take ACD and A, well, that's just ACD, it's there. You know, so everything is there, which, which is perfect. What if I take the last set here, BCDEF, the set containing the elements BCDEF, and I take the union of that with A, you might say, oh, that's not there. Yes, it is. That's equal to X. So you can check just visually by looking at it or with a pencil, but it's worth checking. And that's how you learn. Then you do the same thing for the intersection of any two sets. And this definition is nice because it just lets you check, you know, the individual sets uh, much easier instead of having to think about any finite number, which is the usual definition. That's how the book progresses, which is really nice. You've got lots of examples, as you can see. So it's a wonderful book. It's a wonderful supplement. I use this book as a supplement uh, when I was taking topology in college, and it helped me tremendously. Um, I struggled a lot with the bomb book because of the definition via neighborhood systems, 
I just at the beginning, I got hung up for a couple days. You know, the semester just started. I'm like, I don't even know what a topology is. What am I going to do? It's a little bit scary. It's scary when you're in a situation like that. You know, you, you've worked really hard to get to topology. You know, first, second day of class, you don't know what's going on. You read it, you still don't know what's going on. So, you know, we get through those hurdles. Anyways, I just wanted to make this short video to show you what I think is the best book for beginners in topology. It's the free one that I just showed you. Also a great book. Also a great book, and there's many other great books on topology. The one by Monk Reese is a classic, and there's many others. That's it. Just wanted to make a video of a book that I have been wanting to talk about for a very long time. Until next time, take care.